Hi you guys, it's Kelly and I have my very first mixed media canvas that I want to share with you but first I think I'm going to share a card that I made and the card was also from the inspiration from this canvas and the card actually looks like this and I'm actually filming in my bathroom because as you can see my hands are a mess and my craft room is a mess and there's no light in there and everything looks like a tornado hit it because I had everything of my scrapbook stuff out all over the place and I'm going to clean it up after I'm done filming but I wanted to get this done so I can start uploading it so that it's ready so there's a lot of things that I want to share with you about this so I'm gonna go ahead and get started and this card is actually for a rack that I'm sending out and it basically was along the same structure line as the Christmas tree but because it was smaller it ended up not really looking like a Christmas tree and so I stuck this little angel charm at the top and I will tell you about the technique that I used on the canvas so I'm not going to share what I did on the card but then I decided you know what I'm just going to stick two little really cute glimmer misted like lovebirds down here on a little nest of some crocheted lace and a little crocheted ribbon bow and then I put a tinsel bow underneath so that's the card that I had created and that's going to be going out in a uh, package soon and so then this is what I don't know if any of you saw my, on my Facebook page I had uploaded a picture of the previous before and after of this project and I think I'll probably put it on here at the end so that you can see but this was inspired by Sharon Legros who was on Artsy Addicts on Facebook and she actually was inspired by Finnebar and Anna um I know I cannot get her name right so I'll actually put the links below to the designers who have inspired all these really amazing mixed media pieces so I'm not even sure where to begin on this canvas but I don't have a ton of memory on my camera so I need to get started and I'll just try to start from the very beginning so I started with a plain white canvas and I painted it in gold and then I adhered down in the background here there's burlap and I did each layer a little bit smaller and smaller and smaller till I got to the top and then over top of that I added a little bit of crocheted lace on top and on top and on top and then I basically did the same burlap down here at the bottom for the trunk of the tree and we cleaned out my grandmother's jewelry um, a year ago she had Alzheimer's and so we had to clean out her stuff and normally I think <laughs> this stuff probably would have went into the garbage she had tons and tons of these clip-on little earrings like here 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 everything that you see that is gold that looks like a gold circle and it actually looks like golden um, Christmas bulbs those were all clip-on circle earrings in different colors some were white I'll show you that you'll see the picture at the end of what the colors looked like before I went completely over them and then I just found tons and tons of elements to use and they most okay I mean a lot of it came from her jewelry and I'm sorry guys I don't have a, a tripod so this is going to be shaky but I'm just going to go ahead and start at the bottom so I added this little tiny teddy bear charm like he's under the tree all these were either earrings or pins and they were all flowers back here is a metal piece that's for making memories you'll see a few random butterflies here and here and up here and they were purple and I double layered those glimmer misted those in black 
uh, Banshee Black from Lindy Stamp Gang, and they got this amazing gold sheen with black to them. Love it. That is like my new favorite glimmer spray. So as we go across here, all the hearts that you see were Thicker's white chipboard heart pieces. Here's a dangly earring. Right along here, here, and up here is tinsel. And then I added this um, chipboard filigree at the top. And this is a tinsel bow. Oh, if you can see that. Okay. So along here then, this is a buckle to a belt or something. Right here you'll see is a gold chain. I added that. It was broken, so the clasps were broken, so I actually used that. Um, another chipboard filigree here. Here's another dangly earring. Here's a paper clip. Here's the back to an earring. Um, you know, uh, what do they call guys? I can't think of it now. Oh my goodness, you hang your wash out with them. Ah, whatever. I can't think of it. I'll come back to it. And then here was double filigree charms from my stash. This was a pin. This was an earring. This was a little tiny bow. Here was a joy pin. Perfect for Christmas. Here is this huge, huge flower I got in a rack. And it was actually attached to... No, I'm sorry, not a rack. I got that at Goodwill. And it was actually attached to a napkin ring. And I took it off. And I love it. It's like the perfect little, like, boom, like, punch of, like, red and floral for, like, this Christmas thing. And then over here is a two double leaf charm. Here's a paper clip. There's another dangly earring underneath. These are all earrings. There's a pin. This was a chipboard piece layered with a pin, layered with a little flower charm. Up here is a snowflake. Here is a hinge. And then, you know, here's a button. Here's a chipboard arrow. There's a gold leaf that was a pin. There's a gold leaf that was a pin. And all these other elements. So, um, I'm just really pleased with how it came out. Um, what I had done after I adhered all that, I went over it with Lindy's Glimmer Mist. And I just basically started with a really light color and then gradually went to dark. And I did little spritzes of turquoise, like down here and over here and then up here and some black and let it run. And over here. And, and so uh, basically the way that it worked out was... I, when I did the sides here, I painted over them, and I left paint drip, and I took a heat tool to that, and when you take a heat tool to the Adirondack paint, it forms these, like, whoop, ah, sorry guys, it forms these, um, almost like little textured, like a little bump and it looks like maybe hot glue you could probably do it with a hot glue technique but that's how I did it and it turned out really really cool just doing it like that so I started with Lindy's like really light sprays and then I went really dark and then there wasn't enough focus on the outline of the tree and so I glimmer sprayed the tree in a triangular pattern, and I glimmer sprayed the trunk with the Black Banshee from Lindy's, and I did that about four or five times. And I would dry it and spray it and dry it and spray it and dry it and spray it. And so that's how this actually came about. So um, I'll show you a really quick close up. This is what everything looked like. There's so much texture and dimension and just interesting, interesting things that for me are a reminder. Oh yeah, this is a clothespin, guys. <laughs> I remembered what that was after 
a while. So, yeah, and I was really pleased with how the the gold balls really stood out to me, like they were, you know, gold balls on a Christmas tree, and the the butterflies to me stood out as much as I wanted them to, and they were glimmery, and then there's some, there's some glimmer up here, this was from a pin, and that was shimmery, I just wanted it to be really shimmery and gold, but yet I wanted it to have that dark steampunk style, and I used to have watch those um, gears from Tim Holtz, and I wanted to put them on this so badly. I must have used them all because I could not find them, and I thought I bought some on Black Friday, but I took a lot of stuff back. <laughs> I didn't take it back like now. I actually, before I got to the cash register, I go through my car and I'm like, okay, I really don't need this, I really don't need this, and so I must have done that with the gears, and I actually really needed those, so I don't know. I'm just silly, I guess. So, anyhow, this is what I created. This is the steampunk canvas that I created, mixed media project, and it was, like I said, it was my very first, and, you know, I, I really was pleased with it, and it's going to hang in my downstairs. It's like the first Christmas thing that I have put out, and I really can look at it, and even though everything is altered so dark, you know, and, and sprayed, I can really, to me, I can look at it, and I can really feel the, the pieces of jewelry. I can understand, you know, the history of them, where they came from, and I can appreciate it now because, to me, it's art. And it's a piece of my grandma. And so it means a lot more to me than if it were just a piece of art that I had purchased in a store. So I think I'm getting off track here. But um, that is what I have for you guys today. And I think that's it. I think I'm probably going to be creating some more projects over the next few days. And I'll let you know what I have and more videos and I'm hoping pretty soon, guys, I'm hoping pretty soon, I'm, I'm almost at 700 subscribers. So I'm hoping to do another giveaway, and um, I already have what I have picked out for my, for my next giveaway. So, okay, guys, thank you so much for watching and commenting and encouraging me. And this was really, it was really painful to do. It was really pushing me, but I know when I'm comfortable doing something, like in my scrapbooking that I love to do, I feel so comfortable in it, and I feel encouraged in it. When I'm so comfortable like that, I know I have to start doing different stuff, because I have to do stuff that's like out of the box, and something that pushes me, something that pushes me to do more, do better, learn more, and, and so this definitely was that piece too. So, okay, I'm going to let you go, and I'm going to talk to you guys later. Bye!